Let's go straight and discuss how I fixed Zoo Scratch early day. Riot did shelf Zeri to Sue. All of her dominance and range are gone now. But still I found a way to make her OP. You scorch then boom your early poke will be a problem. Just observe how I behave in this match. My support here is kind of retarded. But instead of getting a hothead, just let her be. The secret lies in being a good ADC is simple. Form your way to three items the fastest way you can. It doesn't matter if your support is trash or not. The core gameplay of a ADC is to provide range damage on a fiend fight. Once you are not giving her to the opposite, it is better to farm. Our opponents are being chipped by me from afar. But still I have a healthy HP and that is good. See my support, just getting chip damage on which the enemy JG will notice. A typical new, but at least she didn't kill me with her. But we have our counter game. I am confident that my damage is enough, together with my Scorch Ring. Three verses to fight, one is two, one is good enough for me. Time to fetch my items. I will buy a Muramana just like my first vid last time. My teammate here will have a fail bank on which is hilarious. It is clear that they will have a fail dive, so I just stay in the bar. I am glad I will survive here because my positioning will save me. Boots because it is needed. This game is full of action. Just farm and be safe. Use auto Q water. my lane because I knew I could turn the tide around because our opponents are low. This is a extended team fight. What is important here is my position. Your zap and laser will slow them and put them to death. Use it as often as you like. Zeri kiting prowess will be demonstrated here. Zap and laser again will be showcased.
Scary team fighting is next to none. Auto Q, W, Auto Rinse, and Repeat will defeat them on a prolonged team fight. They can't catch up because you're too mobile to because of your third skill. At this point, the enemies are getting too cocky overextended. We must punish them. Free tower, and we will stack gold for ourselves. Just continue to farm and be aware of your surroundings. Joining the fray is easier for Zeri because she can just be there in mere seconds. Taking the mid tower is essential to control the map. Once we know you are hiding your way to a victory. Safe distance is a pain in the ass if you're at the opposite side. It's like she has a built in snow on her Q and W, and spraying from afar is OP. Exposure to serious damage in a prolonged team fight will make your team lose. This game is practically ours unless my teammates will decide to be stupid. Mid-game is where you must scale down your aggressiveness because the map is unpredictable at this stage. You must clear every wave that is coming to control the map. Oh, 
Oops, I almost died, H Law. We are about to close this game, so please subscribe and hit the like button to help. Once the map is controlled and you dominate every single team fight, it is best to steal camps safely. This will be my final build, and this will annihilate full-blown 5v5F.